this episode of Brian's Truck Report, we've travelled down under. And together with my old mate Steve Brooks, editor-in-chief of Diesel Magazine, we're setting out on a two-day journey into the Australian outback to put the new Volvo FH to the test. A real trucking adventure. Ever since 1993, the Volvo FH has been an incredibly successful truck for the Swedish manufacturer. Over 700,000 examples have been sold worldwide. So that means new FH has some very big shoes to fill. And that's why I've come to Australia, the very heart of trucking hell, to see how the new FH 16700 is performing and delivering the goods down under. The Volvo FH is a completely new truck with several groundbreaking innovations like the independent front suspension, Volvo dynamic steering, the fuel saving system known as IC and telematics gateway. In short, it's a truck with cutting edge technology. Well, Steve, here we are on a beautiful sunny Sunday morning in Brisbane. In a short while, according to our instructions, we're going to have to get up the road to Toowoomba yeah. in the FH 16700. But first, we've got to get all this gear in the cab, and I've chosen it specifically to reflect a typical Aussie driver. That's personal grooming kit, small potted plants, and a large jar of Vegemite just for you. Have I missed anything out? Mate, the only thing that's missing is your wheelchair and my dog. <laughs> well, it's a Globetrotter cab. It's the new FH. We're going to get it all in there. Let's, Absolutely. let's go. Give me one day. There you go. That will go in the top locker right at the back. Perfect made for it. Okay, Steve, let's have the bedding up next. You make sure you're comfortable up there, sweetheart. <laughs> Mate, my grandmother doesn't have this much gear. <laughs> well, hopefully your grandmother's not joining me in the truck. No, she liked the truck. I'm not sure about the company. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's nothing wrong. No shortage of room in there, is well, it? Well, you know what? Since they've made that windscreen a little less raked, they've ended up with a cubic metre inside more space, and it really shows, particularly when you're moving outside and inside the cab. Vegemite for me, crisps for Steve, and our potted miniature cactus. Having loaded all our gear, and with me wearing my new Aussie hat, we're now leaving sunny Brisbane and heading into rural Queensland, where we'll have our first stop over at Toowoomba. So finally, Steve, we've got out the clutches of those camera crew and we're, we're doing what we like best, which is being out on the road with a mate in a nice truck. We're driving in the Volvo FH16 with 700 horsepower, the top of the range model for the Australian market. Steve, the one thing I've come to realise about Australia is that it's a land of extremes. Extreme heat, extreme cold, extreme loads and extreme roads. That's quite a cocktail for transport operators and drivers to learn to live with. It takes a unique truck to survive in this country and it takes a unique driver to make that truck perform at its best. We can start in north of Australia where it's 50 degrees and move to the south of Australia in one trip where it can be extremely cold and wet and even ice and snow. So yeah, we have it all. From the inside, an FH16 looks pretty much the same as it is in Europe. Outside, there are clearly some big differences. Monster fuel tanks to cover those massive distances that Australian truck drivers have to cover. Big AdBlue tanks too, for the SCR, to ensure that the emission standard system works all the distance. Coming down under to drive FH16 has reminded me of previous experiences of new FH. And the thing that stands out for me is the quality of steering. It's a truck that it goes where you point it and it stays where you point it. There's none of the seesaw action on steering wheels that you found on trucks of yesteryear. The steering on new FH is incredibly precise. Steve, I notice you're not wearing that other hat. Do you think I can persuade you to wear that hat? Mate, you have more chance of getting me a ticket to the moon than me wearing that hat. After a long day of filming, we're now approaching our first stopover in Toowoomba, where Steve and I draw straws to see who gets to spend the night in the FH cab. And the lucky winner is... Well, it's coming up for 10.30 and I'm looking to bed down in the new FH Globetrotter cab to make sure I'm nice and toasty. I've got a lovely duvet, I've got a fantastic mattress, and I've got my Qantas pyjamas. So if you'll excuse me, 
I'm now going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, I had a good night's kip in the FH-16. I'm just finishing off my breakfast al fresco. Steve, today's assignment involves you doing all the hard work. We've got to take three trailers, hitch them up to the mighty FH-16, and you're going to show me what it's like to drive a road train. How about that? No worries at all, mate. Uh, anything I need to do? Just put your hat on and let's get going. <laughs> my favourite. <laughs> exactly is this combination there? This is what's called a B-triple brine. It's basically two short trailers and one long trailer hooked onto the back of it. Overall length is about 36 metres. In weight terms, these combinations are allowed to run to about 90 tonnes. At the moment, we're at around 82 or 82 and a half tonnes. Well, it's still quite a handful. It's a big truck. Yeah, it is a big truck. We're now heading down the road to Milmerran to see just how well the FH-16 performs as a B-triple combination. Steve, you and I have been in this business probably more years than we care to remember. So how did you get into it? Oh, it goes back a long time. I'm a journalist by trade, but I didn't like journalism very much, but my grandfather had trucks when I was a little boy and I used to go to work with him and I think it all started from there and I've progressively had more injections of diesel into the veins over the years and I think I wouldn't know what to do now with our trucks in my life. I wouldn't think it's it's what I do. We're down inside my bones. Hey you, you better sit back down. So you were telling me Steve we were grossing close to about 80 tonnes. How's I shift coping with that? Oh mate, you won't have to um, convince me of ice shift. I think ice shift's one of the best automated transmissions in the market. And I mean that quite sincerely. These two are made for each other. These engines and these transmissions, they're both Volvo units, so they're perfectly integrated. Yeah, and it just makes the whole exercise extremely smooth. Well, you look pretty comfortable in that. You comfortable in that seat? Mate, I'm very comfortable in this seat. <laughs> I know you and I have often talked about the increasing use of safety equipment on vehicles and um, you were telling me recently when you visited Volvo just how impressed with the amount of effort they put into safety. To be honest with you Brian, I was blown away by it. With the amount that I saw that went into this truck, the amount of safety development, they didn't have to do it. They already had a safe truck, but they've made a safer truck and that was obvious to anyone who saw some of the footage of their development work in safety. This truck sits really, really nice on the road. Like on the line around bends and that is, it's a really nice combination, this I can tell already. Well, I could see you were getting bored with me driving, so uh, clearly no. you're enjoying your time behind the wheel. I wasn't getting bored with you driving. I've been wanting to do a trip with you for a decade or more. When we started this episode of Brian's Truck Report, I asked the question, as to whether the new FH could fill the shoes of the previous model. After two days driving with Steve on Australian roads, I reckon the answer is a resounding yes. Well, Steve, that's the end of two great days on the road with the FH 16700. I've had a whale of a time. You've had a grin on your face as well as a Cheshire Cat. Have you had a good time? I've had a great time, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's been really good. Now, I know there's a mate of yours hovering in the wings, waiting to take the truck away from us. Paul Munro Steve. from Volvo Australia. There's the truck, mate. Steve Brian. Paul, thanks for taking it away and looking after it for us. How was the truck? The truck was great. Okay, good, thanks. See, See you, you look mate. after our baby for us. Bye. <laughs> Well, that's all from us on Brian's Truck Report. From me, Brian Weatherly, and him, Steve Brooks. Until the next time, and don't forget, enjoy your driving. And whatever you do, drive safe, mate.